In today's video, I'm gonna be trying out the most popular side hustles on YouTube. I decided that it would be pretty fun to turn this into a series. If you watched last week's video, I did a DoorDash video in this Tesla Model Y, but I thought it would be a pretty cool ongoing series for me to try some of the most popular side hustles on YouTube just to see how profitable or how reasonable they really were. And as you saw by the thumbnail of this video, today I'm gonna to be going out with my lawnmower and trying a landscaping side hustle. I've been getting this side hustle recommended to me a lot, so I decided to pack up the Jeep and see how many lawns that we can cut. I have attempted this side hustle in the past here on the channel where I did a mini penny series that I didn't complete, but for the plan for this side hustle today, I'm gonna to be going around door to door offering to mow lawns for about $20. And because I don't know what the market rate is for lawn mowing in this area, I'm just gonna say that I'm charging $20, but you can give me anything that you can give me because I really wanna complete this for the YouTube challenge. Now, my only concern is that I may be running out of daylight soon. It's already about 4.10 and it's gonna be about 4.30 before I get to my first door. So hopefully I can mow two to three lawns today if I get any customers at all. And if I do get $50 in four hours, I would say that this is a successful challenge. But let's go hop in the Jeep, drive to a neighborhood that does not see me on a daily basis and see if we can get a mini landscaping business going. So as I'm on my way to the nearest neighborhood, the only two things that I'm worried about is gonna be actually getting customers and as well as the amount of daylight that I have. So the neighborhood that I'm going to right now doesn't have a ton of very large yards. And as I have driven through it in the past, I have seen quite a few overgrown. So there may be some potential customers, but in order to make $50 by sunset, we're gonna to need to make about 20 to $25 a yard. And if I use my current pricing structure plan where I try to charge 20 and then go down if they say no, I may end up doing a yard for five or ten dollars it may be a struggle between being selective and also getting customers the other thing that i want to note is that yes i do own my own lawn equipment right now but what i'm going to do is i'm going to deduct the amount that it will cost to rent a lawnmower for four hours at home depot which i think the last time i checked it was around 24 to 30 dollars i'll put a screenshot up now and the idea is that had i gone to rent out this equipment i still want to see what my net profits would be so as of right now we're headed to the neighborhood i'm actually in the first car that i ever bought as a teenager right now me and this car have been through sometimes we've had plenty of road trips flat tires and this also was the first car that i paid off in full when i started paying off my debt after getting a real job at some point i even had to replace the front seat in the car don't ask why i had to do that but let's get on to this neighborhood before it gets too late here we are at the neighborhood let's see if we can find some lawns that need to be mowed as of just now turning in they all look pretty mowed i see a couple that may need a touch up but we'll see Okay, I wasn't able to record that because I just started knocking on doors, but I actually got my first customer for $20 and she prepaid me, which is awesome. This is the yard that we're gonna be cutting. I have here my lawnmower and my weed eater. I'm gonna try to get this done pretty quick. It's not too bad, it's kind of overgrown. So I'm gonna set up the tripod and record myself getting some of this done. So at this point, while I was mowing the yard, I felt that I had a reasonable chance to get this done in about 15 to 20 minutes. The yard overall was pretty flat. Yes, there is a bunch of weeds in it, so it doesn't really look like I'm making all that of a difference, but this side definitely was an easy mow. The only sort of obstacle they had was that stump that you see right in the middle, and it wasn't until I started cutting these side patches that I really started to see somewhat of a challenge. So the first thing I had to do was move some siding panels out of the way. That's what you can see on the porch on the right over there. And then I quickly knocked this down before moving on to the back now this backyard caught me completely off guard for one i didn't realize it was quite that big and for two the levels of dog poop in this backyard phenomenal it literally looked like four grown adult men used the bathroom in this backyard multiple times i hit a dog rope that caused my mower to stop and as i was cleaning out the mower i tipped it over and i got some oil into the engine or that's what i think that happened smoke i initially thought that i probably should end the challenge right there but as i continued to mow to try to finish this yard the smoke subsided so i figured it wasn't a big issue and i was able to get this dog poop yard mowed after which i brought my weeder out and started to clean up some of the edges i always find this part to be really satisfying 
satisfying on YouTube. I don't know why. I just like to see the before and after of people mowing and having their yard all cleaned up. So I decided to, to do a couple of not necessarily cinematic shots, but a couple of cinematic shots just to get a good before and after. Now, obviously, I am not a professional landscaper. I, this is completely not even a hobby, but just a day series. I think I do well enough for my own personal yard. But as you can see, I tried to clean up this sidewalk as much as possible. It was really overgrown. I mean, not as overgrown as some sidewalks may be, but it was, honestly, it was pretty overgrown. So I just went through with my edger. I ended up running out of gas a little bit, but I tried to go through with my weeder to try to set as straight of an edge as possible. I don't know how good of a job I did, but I think ultimately I tried to make it look better than what it was before. So I went on both sides with the edger, just trying to knock it back a little bit. At one point I started using it face on just to try to get it a little bit knocked out before trying to set a straight line. And then after that, I brought the blower out to get it all neat looking. Okay guys, we just got done with that yard. It took us every bit of an hour or so. So this is a lot more work than DoorDash was. My biggest worry is sort of coming true right now. I'm gonna try to find one more yard to say yes. Luckily, the first yard that we asked literally said yes. And honestly, it wouldn't have been so bad had it not been so hilly in the backyard. I was trying to find yards that didn't have a whole bunch of hills in them, but that backyard was a mess. And there was so much dog pooping. Oh my goodness, there was a lot of dog poop. I can officially say that I've been through some S for you guys. That was some big old turds back there. You probably saw it in the voiceover. I hit a rope and as I was taking it out, I guess I spilled some oil into the engine. I'm not really big into this stuff. And honestly, it made the thumbnail really come true. So I'm going to try to find one more yard before I call it even. Maybe I can make $20 this yard and it'll be $40. So that'll be really almost exactly what DoorDash was, but I'm gonna try to find this second yard and then I'll get back with you guys. All right, guys, I knocked on one door and got rejected. It was a younger guy that didn't seem too thrilled about the idea of being on YouTube. While I was walking and knocking on doors, I talked to another lady that was leaving. She actually came down the road and called me down and said that her husband was in the meeting and that I could go ahead and get started on the yard. This yard is a little bit different because it's a little bit bigger, but it also already has the front yard mold. Hopefully, Hopefully it doesn't take me this long. This is definitely gonna be the last one I do for the day. Whether he gives me $20 or whether he gives me less or more, we shall see if I get paid at all because he's not home. But I'm gonna head down here to this yard. I'm gonna get some video of it too. I will say that it's a little bit less stressful than DoorDash, not getting lost quite as much. But overall, I mean, gotta give it up for manual labor. So this is the yard right here. You see the front half is mowed already and they're at the back half and a pretty big backyard. So I'm gonna get some footage of me mowing that now. So this yard, although it was a lot bigger, was definitely a lot easier overall than the last yard was this was really what I was looking for when I was coming out to test the side hustle today just big long flat yards that just needed a little bit of a touch up but not anything super crazy I am not a professional landscaper so I didn't want to promise any sort of quality of service that I couldn't deliver on and I made it really clear ultimately that I was just sort of doing this as a way to just to make a little bit of extra money so I ended up knocking down the main yard and a little bit of the side yard before moving on to the back I actually got that front half done a lot quicker than I thought I would. Now it's time to go to the back to see how bad it is. But that front half, not too bad. I do see there's a pool in the backyard. That may be a little bit interesting to navigate around. But overall, that whole, I'd say 10th of an acre was less grass than the other yard I just cut. So here we are in the backyard. Honestly, not too bad. I can knock this out real quick. And thankfully this yard actually didn't have any surprises other than the pool. I did have to fill up on gas one more time. But as far as the fenced in yard, there wasn't really a lot of things to mow around. As I got closer to the house, I did have to move a couple of things out of the way. And actually, as I was waiting on the husband, I ended up using my hands to pull up those grass weeds around the pool because I knew that I couldn't get close to it with my weeder without slicing it to a million pieces. So I completed all of that before going back outside and touching up the sidewalk a little bit. It looks like it does get hit with a weeder consistently. So I just decided to do a quick little touch up before moving back to the backyard to touch up the fence line because that doesn't look like it gets weeded all that often. Okay 
Okay, y'all, so I just finally got done with all that. I don't know how much of it y'all were able to see, but I actually did a little bit extra because the husband was a little bit late getting home. So I went around pulling up the weeds by the pool by hand. And then as I was getting done, I was wrapping up, I was sort of blowing the lawnmower off, trying to get all the dog poop from the first lawn off. The wife and the husband came home and after I told her kind of like what I did and I cleaned up, she told her husband initially to give me $40, $40. That's a whole extra yard. And then as I was packing up the lawnmower, she gave me another $20. I just earned $60 from mowing that yard. Oh my goodness. So this was literally the goal for the whole day. And then if you count the $20 from earlier with all the dog poop, so that's $80 on a day. That is just absolutely crazy. I did not expect that. I kind of came into this challenge thinking that Southern Hospitality was going to give me a $5 or $10 tip. That's why I sort of went in asking for 20 and then sort of just changing it to anything you can give me just because Southerners are nice. Somebody did touch me, I would probably tip them 5 or $10. But $40 tip, oh my goodness, that is just, can't put that into words. So we're at $80 for the day. If we count the lawnmower and the weed eater rental, I'm gonna take $40 away from that. So hopefully my lawnmower is gonna be good after all this. It did take a little bit of a beating today. It was starting to slow down on me after a while, but when I get home, I'm gonna work on it a little bit, make sure everything is fine. But uh, that's another successful Side Hustle Saturday. If you find anything of value in this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button as I will be making more videos about personal finance, investing, and side hustles. This is actually becoming one of my favorite series because I feel like I'm out here doing it rather than just talking about it at my desk. But if you do decide to subscribe and join the community, then I will see you in the next one, guys.